here to here is just the back side of this hole. And this is solid material that's sticking up here as we can see through the section view. Okay, cutting plane lines are constructed as dark and heavy phantom lines. So a phantom line, if you remember, is a, a long dash, two short dash, long dash, two short dash. And it's identifying where we're cutting through the shape itself. And then we place arrowheads on one side. And the arrowheads in this case are pointing upward. And what that is identifying is our line of sight. So in other words, the individual, the person, the observer is standing down here looking this direction. And since I'm looking at this from the top view, of course, I'd be looking at the observer's head if I were to imagine it here, looking this direction. So this is the part that's been cut off. Everything below the arrow has been cut off. And then when we cut through it, this is the part we actually see, looking this direction. And that's, once again, that's a full section. It would cut all the way through the shape. Offset sections, on the other hand, what we've done is we've had to jog through. So offset sections are used when key details would not be visible in a full section. So in other words, if I cut a full section all the way through, all I could do expose would either be this hole or this feature here, with it, which I'm not sure what exactly fits in there, some type of spindle or bolt head or something, this slot. So what we do is an offset section, we cut part of the way through, then we jog backwards, cut through a little bit more, jog backwards, cut through again. And those are offset sections. So once again, our section view would show this all as one solid orthographic view. We wouldn't actually see these, the uh, depth portions of this because it's a, a front view that we'd be looking at. So offset sections when we're not cutting all the way through an, off, uh, through an object. All right, and looking at that, okay, so here's a little more detail on this. So we've cut all the way through. It's taking the same shape. Okay, normal view, this is how we would show this. Okay, our hidden lines, hidden features. Offset sections, notice we've cut all the way through. We're showing our solid material with section lines, and then where we have voids, like where the backside of our holes, they're shown in details here. All right, with this, also remember, offset sections, we are not going to show where we've cut through. In other words, we've come all the way across. We're not going to show this jog backwards with a solid line. Now when we get to AutoCAD, you're going to notice that it's going to put those those solid lines in there anyway. And sometimes we have to just AutoCAD is going to do what AutoCAD does. But generally speaking, uh, the rules are we do not show the jog locations. It would show as a, a solid cut all the way through the shape itself. When we're dealing with multiple offset sections, so here we have a shape where we've cut through here, and then we've cut again through this section here, and then we've cut again through this section here, and you can see we can jog all kinds of different directions. What we have to do is to index those sections. So what we have is we index AA, and we put the letters will go on each side of this, so letter AA or section AA, and we'll index it by identifying it in the section view as AA, BB, CC. Okay, and this helps the observer, the, the person that's reading the print, can look at this and say, oh, this is where it cut through this location here. So it's, it's to identify where the cutting plane line is going through. If we don't index and we left all the section AAs and all we did was show the cutting plane line, you're, you're waiting for somebody that's spending time trying to figure out which section belongs to which cutting plane line. So to avoid that, once again, we use a term, what we call index. So we've indexed A, A, B, B, C, C. And that can continue on and on. All right. After we've done a half, I mean, um, offset sections, we'll move to half sections. Okay, and this is where we're going to cut halfway through an object. So if uh, looking at our, our cutting plane, what we're doing is we're cutting halfway through and then cutting um, the rest of the way through the object. Okay, even though looking at it mentally, you may say, hey, this is a quarter view. But the thing is, we're only going halfway through the object. From here, the center point out, we're cutting halfway through the object. That's why they call them half sections. And this is only used on symmetrical shapes. Okay, why? Because they're symmetrical. It's the same. What's on the left is on the right. So when we're doing half section views, once again, um, here's, here's our normal view, what it would look like with hidden lines. We've cut halfway through it. But we've also removed the hidden lines. Okay, hidden lines are not shown on the non-section side because the shape is symmetrical. What I'm looking at over here in the section side of it is exactly what's on the other side, a mirror image of it. So we don't have to put hidden lines in there. All right, then we have what we call broken out sections. Okay, broken out section is just a partial section used in small detailed areas. 
So I don't want to go through and create a whole big section view of, of a part when all I need to do is to show the internal detail in a small location. We just do a broken out view. So we use a short break line. And remember all we're doing is all this is doing is identify, hey, we broke off this section here so we can see the internal detail here. But uh, the rest of it is shown as a normal front view. Okay, also notice that we show the hidden lines. If it's not symmetrical, we show the hidden lines because it's not symmetrical. Okay, so once again, you'll notice down here it says a broken out section is a partial section used in small detailed areas and is identified with a short break line. And then so uh, my notice here, hidden lines are shown because the shape is not symmetrical. Okay, and that's going to be the key. If it's symmetrical, you can leave the hidden lines off. If it's not symmetrical, you have to show the hidden lines to identify the hidden features. Okay. Moving on from there, we have what they call line sections. Okay, and this is where it gets a little more complicated. What we're doing is we're trying to um, give a sense of balance to a shape. So even though, technically speaking, if I cut through this shape from here and I revolve it around this location, cut all the way through, bring it all the way back through, revolve back around, cut through this location here, if I were to project those elements over to create my right side section view, this is in reality what it would look like. Okay, that, that's, that's the way it would be drawn. But in the drafting world, this can be a, very confusing. Okay, so what we do is we, we do an aligned section. So we project these elements over. So I project over, there's the top, there's the top of the hole, it projects over. Here's the bottom of the hole, projects over. Okay, now we're going through a rib. So if you imagine what's going to happen here is I'm going to revolve this section up the, uh, the 60 degrees to bring it into to alignment with this cutting plane line. And then I'll project those elements over and then revolve it back into shape, into, into place. Okay, and that's what's taking place. This is what aligned views do. It says aligned section views depict features that are not shown in their true position in order to reduce confusion caused by asymmetrical objects. Okay, and once again, until you've drawn a few of these, it's probably going, the process itself may seem a little complicated. All right, our next is revolve sections. All right, this is something Harold Weston would never, never, never do revolve sections. Okay, because to me, they are confusing. And remember, drafting is all about conveying uh, your message of how a part is be made in as clear a manner as possible. And uh, many times this type of section view can be confusing to the person that's trying to interpret the part. Okay, so here I am, I'm showing what's going on. I got my cutting plane line where I've cut all the way through this. But rather than doing a cutting plane line and, and uh, indexing it as AA and then drawing a section uh, view to the right or someplace else on the drawing, they've gone through and revolved it, revolved inside of the shape itself. Uh, the problem with this, when I look at it initially from the, the um, the right side view and and I'm looking at this this looks like it could possibly be a part that is protruding towards me and I've sliced that part off I've got section lines indicating that it is a section view but once again this can be confusing uh, experienced print readers have no problem with this but once again in industry you never know who's out there producing what kind of parts so they we have integrated revolve sections where we've shown it as as if it's uh, continuous, no break lines, nothing separating this part from anything else. And then we have what we call a broken revolve section where we've taken use short break lines to identify clear cut, hey, this is separate from everything else. All right, once again, for me personally, I, I do not use revolve sections. I'll go through and draw a so, total separate section, a full section, and show it in detail wherever, somewhere else on the drawing. But if I were forced to do this revolve section, I would go with the broken out section because it's clear cut that this is a separate entity or separate view contained inside of the original view. Okay, uh, but according to uh, ASME, this is per perfectly acceptable way of doing a section view. All right, remove sections. These are just like in the, the cases like this hook that we have here. All we've done is identify, hey, if we cut through here, this is what it looks like in this location. Okay, and then it changes shape up here. If we cut through uh, this location, and notice this will be on an auxiliary section. We're not cutting at a, an exact angle. We're cutting at a, 
other than a 90 degree angle. But anyway, this remove section that we're creating here is, is what the shape looks like. So it's going to uh, transition from uh, an elliptical shape to, uh, I don't know what kind of shape you, but you can see what I'm talking about here. Remove section is placed outside of the view. That's all you're doing here and it's, it's a acceptable view of doing remove sections, especially good for solid shapes. All right, phantom sections. All right, this is not one that I had on our list originally, but a phantom section or hidden sections are used to show both the inside and outside of an object that is not completely symmetrical in one view. So we're trying to show everything in one view. So here it is, my front view, and I've just done, hey, I'm gonna do a, a short break, I mean a, a section view line uh, coming through here, my viewing plane line coming through here, section AA, and we're just showing this detailed looking down on it. Um, Phantom or hidden sections are not commonly used in industry, as you'll see at the note at the bottom. Um, some places use them, but 